<coughs> excuse me. So the first card is happiness, and it looks like there's some good news coming in from afar. And um, it looks like uh, it's also time for you to reflect on all the things that you have done. You know, count your blessings, um, that kind of uh, mood that you need to go through. You're going through a phase of healing right now, and it, um, it's a soul healing, really, that you're going through. And it, this could take a little bit of time. So make sure you're looking after yourself and get some good rest, it's actually saying. And uh, you've got the, the famine card over here. So you had, uh, you know, you had to give up something. There was a time you're going through a time where everything, all your resources seem to be very, very limited. And it says um, the solution is just to conserve as many resources and, uh, you know, try and seek some kind of opportunity um, elsewhere. So you are going through a period of lack at the moment. And it's, uh, you know, it says try to go very carefully with whatever you have. It looks like some good news is coming in for you here, so uh, things will change for the better, but make sure you're also getting some rest. Uh, in the past, it said um, be alert, so you needed uh, to look after yourself because you were dealing with a very jealous uh, person or a very dishonest situation. And, uh, but it brought in a lot of clarity, um, and um, you were able to see this person for who they were. So you were dealing with somebody who was very, very negative or very toxic in your situation. So going into the future, you've got a temporary situation. What is happening in your life is only temporary, and this difficult, uh, difficulties will soon be over, and um, you, know, you will find a solution. So um, it just says that you do need to be strong because you will be able to conquer whatever problems you're going through. So you're going through a difficult situation. Uh, there looks like there is some good news coming in for you. You do need to take a bit of a rest and the situation will clear itself up soon. So these are the energies for that week. So I'm using the Tarot Apocalyptus for the main read. I've put this in the, the description box, so please have a look. So at the bottom of the deck, you've got the Queen of Pentacles, and this is uh, the Goddess Lakshmi, which is about money. So you are trying to deal with your finances. It looks like money is going to be coming your way soon. With Lakshmi, it's always about getting wealth and prosperity coming in. So this, if it hasn't come in, it's about to come in for you. Uh, you can see she's got a lot of money coming in. It's also, you know, if you needed a new job or a, a new financial opportunity, that seems to be coming your way as well. She's got all this money coming out of her hand. So it looks like finances are going to come back into your hand again. You just have to go a bit carefully and just, uh, you know, just wait for it. Um, you're also in some kind of position where you have a lot of authority and you are managing things. So you may be uh, dealing with a lot of money management as well. So um, you know, money going through your hands, maybe the job you work with has got a lot of finance involved in it as well. But definitely, if you you are having problems with money it looks like money is about to be coming your way this is the energy general energy of the whole read so something brand new coming in and you taking control of your finances now the main uh, cards are the um the queen of cups and the death card so something is ending uh, some kind of uh, difficult situation that you've been going through and you've been very depressed and un unhappy about it uh, you can see you've got the queen of cups and she generally is a very emotional person and you know you've uh, somebody who's going through a bit of depression as well. Uh, it looks like that particular situation is now coming in end because although you're feeling this way uh, with the death card, that is now going into the past and you are now being able to walk away. You can see death even walking away from this Queen of Cups. So it looks like whatever situation you're going in, uh, going through at this particular moment that involves you being uh, feeling a bit upset, a bit miserable, uh, a bit, uh, you know, maybe even nostalgic about the past. Uh, you're um, being able to cut it out from your life and walk away from it. So it's now coming to an end. That difficult situation is coming to an end. And it looks like the goddess of uh, wealth, Lakshmi, the queen of pentacles, is coming your way. So some, this money is coming your way and it's going to get you out of this difficult situation that is bringing you down. You got the Prince of Wands over here, so uh, this is about um, usually. Well, in this deck, it's about uh, a 
the person that you've been dealing with uh, is a bit of a troublemaker, causing a lot of chaos in your life. So you might have been dealing with a fire sign person, which could be Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, and they might have been causing a lot of drama and a lot of problems for you. Um, and, you know, um, this has caused, this is uh, the god Set, who has, is the god of chaos, of war, of destruction, of deceit. So this is the kind of energy that you might have been dealing with in the last year. And this is the thing that has caused all the problems that you have been facing, this kind of energy. You've got the Princess of Cups over here. So some kind of new message or some kind of new offer coming in for you here. Um, you know, it might have been an offer to do further study or further education. And maybe that has come in uh, in the last few months of uh, the training because this uh, cups uh, usually is about uh, new information it's about training it's about education as well this could also be an emotional offer that came in so somebody may have come in with an apology to you or uh, somebody may have made some kind of offer maybe an invitation coming in for you and this has happened in the last um, few months now you've got the ace of wands so you are now deciding what you want to do you are focusing your energy you can see this man's all this uh the wands is about news coming in, about information. It's about energies coming in to your arena. He's now taken one of those uh, so, um, uh, arrows and it's got fire on it and he's focusing. So you are deciding to focus. That maybe they have, you've had a lot of options come your way and you are now picking one of them and you're deciding to put all your en um, your energy and your focus on that piece or uh, that particular project or that uh, particular um uh, experience you want uh, to focus all your energies uh, on to doing on that particular goal and you're you know you're taking um, um, a stand for it you are taking control of that situation really so you have decided you've chosen one of these um, um, options and you are now going to be focusing on that particular option so things are also starting to move so things um, are not uh, you know, where, where you have been stuck in this situation, it seems like things are starting to move and maybe you're, you're getting very, very busy at this particular moment. Maybe there's also some travel. Maybe there's something that you want to do and maybe that also involves travel because the Eight of Wands is also a card about travel. Now, you've got the Nine of Swords over here. So this is being very anxious in a situation. You might be dealing with two people that are very toxic and they're making you feel really miserable. Um, maybe they have... Um, you know, they're bullying you or they might be saying things to you that are pretty, pretty nasty because this person's holding the sword above your head. There might be some deadlines or uh, dramas that they are presenting to you uh, that you're having to deal with. But it's also affecting your self-confidence and you're, um, you know, expecting, almost expecting the worst case scenario to happen. Uh, you've got so much of anxiety going on and you may not be sleeping well at night too. You've got the five of pentacles over here. So it looks like, uh, you know, you've been... Uh, almost excluded from a situation. The Five of Pentacles is about financial lack and loss. So this could be that, you know, you're going through a very difficult financial situation as well, uh, you know, with limited resources. Um, maybe you have lost a job or you have had to move away from something uh, or that generated money and uh, this has caused, uh, you know, you to ha actually uh, um, deal with a situation of almost poverty, if you like. So you're going through a very, very hard situation. It's also uh, maybe you're going through a period where you're having poor health because the pentacles also uh, is a card that rules health. So you might be experiencing some really uh, a difficult health situation, but something that's affecting your finances or your ability to uh, generate finances. And it's also making you feel very lonely, very, very unsupported as well. You've got the tower card. So something big has come in and that has shifted a lot of energy um, and made big changes over here. Um, you know, everything was burnt down or, or destroyed. So they might, you might have been gone through a situation in your life where things have been uh, really, um, you know, everything is upside down. Uh, maybe you've even lost your job or you, you could have even lost your home with this tower card. So it's a very big shift in energy and it's put your life into an absolute chaos and you're trying to recover from that uh, scenario. So what you want is you want balance back in your life again. You've got the temperance card over here. And if you're ill, you want uh, healing. So maybe this, if it's a health problem, maybe this tower card brought in news uh, that was very devastating to you about your health. It could have even been devastation about your money as well. And you want everything to get back uh, to balance again, get back to where it was. Uh, you know, you want to bring in that healing in your life, but you also want to bring in that balance again, you know, you 
it's not as though you're asking to become a multi-billionaire. You just want some balance and some kind of um, stability back again in your life with this temperance card. So going into the future, you've got the Hierophant, uh, the Hermit, and the Ten of Wands. Now the Hierophant is getting some good advice. So you might need to seek some kind of professional advice, professional counsel, some kind of guidance uh, in order for you to deal with any kind of financial issues or even uh, medical issues. The Hierophant is the card ruled by Taurus, uh, Venus, and it does rule the health. It also rules your money as well. So you might need to go and sp uh, seek out some uh, professional advice, uh, some counseling, or even, you know, um, even going and looking for that professional advice to get you out of the situation. Uh, it looks like it needs to be from somebody, um, you know, uh, who knows what they're talking about uh, rather than you winging it. This is also doing a card about doing your research. Make sure that you're doing it. You've got the Hermit card over here. Um, so this is, you know, focusing. Hermit. The Hermit card is ruled by, Vien, uh, by um, Virgo, and it's also ruled by Mercury. And it is a card that rules health. So uh, a need for you to actually go and seek out some kind of uh, professional advice with regards to your health, if you're having any health issues. Um, but also, this is a card about spending a lot of time by yourself and focusing on yourself and also focusing on your work. Because the um, Virgo is also a card about focusing on, on your goals and your work. Uh, it's also maybe a card of studying. So maybe you will need to do some further study if you're in a career in order for you to, uh, to improve your skill set in order for you to move forward. So definitely a card about, um, you know, the Hermit focusing on yourself and focusing on your healing your own healing, be it financially, spiritually, uh, materialistically, but it's a card about spending time on focusing on yourself. And this card is about a shame and healing. So even, you know, if you're going through any kind of um, spiritual problems, you do, you do need to spend some time by yourself, meditate, but, uh, you know, um, ignore everybody else and know that you are the most important person and it's time for you to heal right now you've got the ten of wands over here so you have been doing whatever you've been doing has been very difficult you can see this man is trying to actually pull this pyramid here so it's a it's a it's almost as though you've been putting so much of energy and effort into a situation that doesn't seem to be shifting at all it seems to be almost as though you're um you know your any your um energy that you've been putting into this um situation uh, has produce no rewards in fact it's just given you more and more burdens and more and more drama because there's a lot of fire on these wands here and although you put all your efforts and energies into it it's kept you tied up he's he's almost he's tethered to this uh, pyramid over here so very tied up in that situation and all the efforts are not even shifting it so you are going through that very very difficult situation right now lots of responsibilities you can't seem to get yourself free from it and whatever efforts and energies it doesn't seem like it's making any difference in your life right now this is the ten of wands and this situation is now coming to an end so although you're going through it right now you will come out of it it is the end of that cycle it's just about to end so take um be hopeful uh, you know you don't uh, don't let that nine of energies this anxiety get you down because you are coming out of a difficult situation now even though it may not seem that way so i'm just going to draw um some cards from the animal um tarot and this is for the oracle read. So you've got uh, the nine of winter over here, which says your worries and fears aren't real. Um, they are fueled by focusing on the negative and that, that gives it power. Uh, so stop worrying, let go of fear and everything will be okay. So the nine of winter is like the nine of swords. So whatever you're focusing on in um, the Oracle card says, you know, it's not really real. Uh, it will, it will um, go away. That particular, you're just, it's just fueling your fear. Um, so it should settle down. So although you're feeling very alone and everything is not very clear to you, clarity will come and everything seems to be very chaotic around you. It should settle down. Uh, try not to give those fears energy by focusing on them. In other words, you've got the Ten of Autumn over here, which says contentment that comes from knowing that your finances are secure and your family's uh, material needs are being met. It is important to honor your traditions and pride in heritage and the accomplishment of your ancestors. So the Ten of Autumn uh, is um, the Ten of Pentacles, really. And it's saying that, uh, you know, finance will come. You might be able you might be getting some kind of money from maybe um, as an inheritance 
uh, or some kind of payoff coming in with the Ten of uh, Autumn or the Ten of Pentacles. And, uh, you know, your financial commitments will be met. Um, you'll be able to uh, pay off any debts or you will get money that will come in for you. You've got the Hermit card of here again. This is the second Hermit. So the first Hermit came in this uh, deck about focusing on your health and your and yourself. And it says, take time for contemplation, a retreat and go within, be a beacon for others on their path of spiritual enlightenment. So there is a need for you to maybe retreat from the world and focus on yourself in order to, for you to see the solution to your problems and in order for you to get healing as well. There is an, a need for you to take some time to yourself and get over all these anxieties that are plaguing you, which is like the Five of Pentacles, feeling very lost, very alone, feeling very miserable and feeling very poor, really, you know, emotionally, spiritually and financially. And, uh, there's quite a lack going on over here. There has been some kind of major big event that's happened that has really devastated your life. But it looks like things are going to start shifting up. With the Ten of Wands, the cycle is now coming to an end. A need for you to focus on yourself and maybe a need for you to get some advice from somebody some professional advice, something that's going to help you move forward. And it looks like with this card, the uh, Queen of Pentacles, the Lakshmi card, it looks like money is going to be coming your way soon. And uh, this whole situation is coming to an end. You've got the death card over here. So I hope this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.